This is day 91 of 100 Days of Making Minis, and today I have continued painting this uh, soldier here. Got uh, all the rest of the base colors done, and put on a nice wash to kind of darken things up and get it all ready for highlights. And I was showing it to my kids, and they were like, oh yeah, Dad, looks cool, looks cool, it's fine. But then my son pointed out, because I was telling him what this is going to be used for, and I'm going to use it as a second billman in my Relic Blade Force, and he said, wait a second, he needs to have a big mustache. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. I'm gonna shave off a little paint and sculpt a little mustache on him. The original plan was to get this guy all finished painting today. I'm glad that I got it to where I did, but um, I was really excited when my son suggested adding mustache to this, because this is what I love the most about miniatures, is just making those subtle little changes that make you know, a miniature that everybody else in the world might have just a little bit more your own. You know, that you do that by painting it your way or in your color scheme, but when you can sculpt and add a little bit of extra on it, just even if it's just a little facial hair, it can really help it stand out, make it a little more unique. So, as you saw in the very beginning, I scraped off a little bit of the paint there just to make sure that the uh, green stuff would bond to the plastic rather than the paint, and in case f something caught it, you know, it'd be a little less likely to break off. And uh, I'm using green stuff here mixed in with just a little bit of Aves. Um, and normally I wouldn't do that, but I wanted to, this to cure up a little quicker in case I was able to get back at it and paint a little more today, which uh, I don't think I will, but whatever. <laughs> so uh, yeah, just put a little bit of putty on there and start forming it into a mustache. As far as the actual paintings going, I think I'm really starting to figure out uh, how I want to paint miniatures and you know some people focus on one area or one main color section at a time and then you know paint it to completion I'm doing more of an approach where I like to get a good base color down of everything it's kind of goes back to the way I like to sculpt where I like to work the entire figure as much as possible so that you can see how all the proportions are working together and everything it's the same thing with paint you know I feel like I can't you know, something might look really good by itself, but then when you add on another color, it just doesn't seem right. And uh, doing this really helps. The other thing that I've realized is that I need, I think I need to work more in the mid-range of colors. Um, in the past, I've always liked to have my stuff a little more muted and darker, but what I've done with that is I, I would tend to start pretty dark with my colors, and then I've always painted with washes, and so when you add that, doesn't do that much because everything's already pretty dark. So, um, yeah, I, I'm now that I'm, uh, I think I'm using stuff a little more properly now and understanding that when you take a step back, stuff doesn't have to be quite as subtle and finessed, unless you're a competition painter, obviously, but, um, yeah. I want to thank you all for indulging me in this little sidetrack. I plan on getting back to the Owl Swordmaster. Uh, tomorrow and hopefully wrapping them up next week but uh, before I go I wanted to ask uh, for any suggestions what you think I should paint this guy's mustache what color uh, my son thinks orange you know, maybe redhead I think that could work his uh, his tunic there under the um, the brigandine armor is gonna be a little bit more of an intense brighter red um, before this is all over so it could work but yeah feel free to post down in the comments let me know your suggestion all right, that's it for today. I'll see you tomorrow.